All right, makeup geeks, it is Monday. Why am I doing this? So you know what time it is, it's makeup master classes. If you are new to my channel, my name is Marlena and every week I teach the nitty gritty stuff into makeup, but it is not boring. We keep it fun here. So make sure you grab a snack and a drink, get cozy, and we are gonna have some fun learning makeup today. So our class today is all about eye shapes. I'm gonna go over 10 different eye shapes. That's right, I said 10. I said grab a snack and drink. So we're gonna try to go through them super quickly, but I want you guys to understand Understand what eye shape do you have now why does this matter this matters because you guys want to know how to apply your makeup that is most flattering for your eye shape like for me if you guys have watched my tutorials you know that I very often do this dark in the outer corner keep it light here because that fits my specific eye shape so I do that technique a lot because it works for me but everyone has different eye shapes so you want to know what kind you have so you know what technique to do that is most flattering so let's jump right in the first eye shape that I have is called up turned eyes. This one isn't as common, but your eyes may be upturned if the outer corner of the eye is higher than the inner corner. All that means is that the inner tear duct and the outer edge of the eye are going to be different. So this is going to be a little bit lower. This is going to be higher. It's going to be kind of angled up. It's a beautiful shape that can pull off a lot of darkness under here. If you prefer to exaggerate that shape where it's lifted up, you can do a cat liner or a winged liner. That's going to really emphasize that. But if you want to balance the eye because it is natural, you lift it. There's that trending technique, reverse smoky eyes, that looks amazing on upturned eyes as well, just because it balances out that lift you naturally have. The next eye shape we have is the opposite of upturned, that is downturn eyes. Your eyes may be downturned if the outer corner of the eye is lower than the inner corner. So this eye shape is where your eyes can naturally come down here at the edge. This eye shape looks amazing with winged liner or cat eyes because that lift on the outer edge is going to bring that outer edge of the eye up, give you that more lift lifted awake look if that makes sense. You can also do smoky eyes where the color or the darkness is out here on the outer edge but it's up higher kind of like what I'm wearing today. Do you see how my color is up here and it's kind of lifted? Anything that's on the outer edge of the eye and is up higher that's going to lift those eyes up. Next eye shape we have is round eyes. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Your eye shape may be round if the width of the eye is almost equal to the height of it. Round eyes are less tapered than almond and appear to be more open. So if you have these big beautiful round eyes you can pull off a really dark smoky eye where you have a dark color all over the lid you could wear dark eyeliner and the waterline you can pull that off because your eyes are large and very open another eye technique that works is the inverted halo and that's where you have darkness on the center of the lid and then around the edges you have lightness that's gonna help elongate the eye because you're almost darkening the center of the lid making it look a little bit smaller and more almond shape next shape we have is deep set eyes your eyes may be deep set if they sit further back back than your brow bone. You don't want to confuse this shape with hooded eyes. Deep set eyes is where they're going to be further back into your head and your brow bone is going to sit further out. So if I turn my head sideways like this, my eyes, if they're kind of back into my head a little bit more, I know this sounds like a really bad description. I don't know how to describe it, you all. But if your brow bone comes out further and your eyes are just further back, that is deep set. But deep set eyes work really well if you wear a light and or shimmer all across the lid and leave the dark color for under the lower lash line or above the crease. If your eyes are back a bit and you want to bring them forward, make them pop, bring them out, use light and shimmer. Next shape we have is a pretty common one. This is almond eyes. Your eye shape may be almond if the inner and outer corners taper to a point. Your eyes will be longer in width and look elongated versus round. So almond eyes are just that. It looks like the shape of an almond where it's very elongated. If you want to exaggerate that shape, then wear a winged liner or a cat eye shape. You can also do the traditional technique where you have light, medium and dark across the lid, kind of like what I'm wearing today. That's going to draw the eyes out a little bit more if you want to exaggerate that. You can do a smoky eye as well. There's various techniques that work for that, but it depends on if you want to exaggerate that almond shape or not, then do a shape that kind of comes out like this across the eye. Next, we have prominent eyes. Your eyes may be prominent if they protrude out farther than your brow bone. This eye shape is the opposite of deep set eyes in that the eyes themselves come out a bit further. So deep set is pushed back prominent is where your eyeball itself is coming out further than your brow bone. That eye shape can pull off a dark smoky eye as well. You can wear dark shadow all over the lid. You want to smudge it here under the lower lash line. I have a little bit of prominent eyes. You can tell because I have a bit of that indent here in my eyes underneath. It's 
it's not an eye bag, but it's like there's a little shelf under there, if that makes sense, because my eyes come out. So that's why for me personally, I always smudge some shadow underneath because that's gonna push the eyes back a little bit, making them less prominent. The next eye shape we have is another common one, and this is hooded eyes. Your eyes may be hooded if the crease of your eye folds over the eyelid itself. If you can't see the crease in your eyes when they are open, you might have hooded eyes. Hooded eyes is super common. It's one of the most quested tutorials I always get is makeup for hooded eyes. You can be born with it or as we age, it can tend to be hooded. It's a beautiful eye shape that you can wear a lot of different looks, but my personal favorite is to wear a light shimmer all over the lid, kind of like what we said with the deep set eyes. What's gonna happen is that's going to bring that lid out because it's a little bit hidden under that crease. So if you apply a light shimmer color Color on the lid, it's going to make them pop more. The other thing with hooded eyes, I personally do not like wearing a winged liner or a cat eyeliner unless it's a super baby one. What happened, I'm gonna use a pen, what happens when I put a dark line all across the lid, it's gonna eat up some of that lid space and it's going to make my eyes look even heavier. So I personally avoid putting dark liner along that lash line for hooded clients. So just think on the lid, light and bright. Next eye shape we have is monolid eyes. Your eye shape may be monolid if you do not have a visible crease on the lid. If your eye space from lash line to brow is smooth and flat with no crease, then you might have monolid eyes. Monolid eyes can pull off a few different techniques too. My favorite personally is the smoky eye where you're going from dark to light up to the crease. You could do a dark or really pigmented color along the lash line and as you go up, you start to lighten it. It's almost like this rainbow effect where it just curves the eyes a lot. Another technique you can do is a cut crease where you have that dark color in the crease here and then on the lid itself you keep it light. So there's a couple different options that I think looks beautiful on this eye shape. Next one we have is close set eyes. Your eyes may be close set if the space between your eyes is narrow. You'll generally have more space from the outer eye to the temple than you do between each eye. This one's pretty self-explanatory too. If you have close set eyes it just means that your eyes are a little bit closer together. So you're going to take the light shade and shimmery shade. You're going to put it here on the inner corner. What that's going to do is bring the eyes out a little bit. So don't apply dark colors in here or all over the lid. Keep it for the outer edge of the eye, kind of like what I have here as well. And that's gonna make the eyes look a little bit further apart, giving them a nice symmetrical balance. Next one we have is the opposite of close set eyes and that's wide set eyes. Your eyes may be wide set if the space between your eyes is far apart. You'll have more space between the eyes than you do between the outer edge of the eye and the temples. Wide set eyes is self-explanatory too. It's just if your eyes feel like they're a little bit wide, wider apart. You have more space here above the bridge of your nose. The technique for this is the total opposite of close set eyes. You can pull off darkness in here and keep out here a little bit lighter colors. What that's gonna do is bring the eyes in because like we said, darkness makes things smaller, lightness makes things bigger. So if we wanna decrease that space in here, just put some darkness and then keep out here light and bright. Whew. So that is all of the 10 eye shapes. Some of you out there may think, well, I don't fit strictly into one. You can be more than one eye shape. So don't feel like you have to be in this little tiny box and be like, I have to be just this one. You could be one or two different shapes, a combination of them both. So if you guys want to see actual specific techniques for these eyes and go really, really into detail on eye shapes, you can take the online masterclass that I teach. We have the booklet that you guys get mailed to you. I offer online classes where you have an online portal. You can connect with other students. There's a class booklet we mail to you. It's a full color pamphlet that has illustrations and colored examples and great tips in there. There's also a quiz, a review. It's an actual class you all. So if you want to up your makeup game, you can check that out on the Makeup Geek site. So I hope all this information was helpful for you all. Try to figure out what eye shape that you have and try some of these different techniques that I mentioned so you could see what works best for you. Anyways, you guys, thanks for coming to my makeup masterclass. Come back next Monday for another topic. Stay safe, you guys. Have fun with your makeup and I will talk to you soon. Bye.